recently I got a question about my log hauler. And um, so I built the log hauler to be lightweight, but to handle like four or five nice sized logs. And I could pull it behind my tool cap and go up on the mountains. Anyway, um, yeah, the question I got on my um, log hauler was about the crane. So today I'm going to, uh, I got to go back up on the mountain and get some logs that I cut yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the, the brand crane I got and um, how it operates and a little about it. Anyway, I'm going to back up here and open up my door and hook up the log hauler. So I've got two things going on on the crane. I've got power. To, that comes from my tool cap. And this crane is a Rugcell, R-U-G-C-E-L. And it says it can do 1,100 pounds. Now what I've done is I've welded this thing solid to the front tongue. So it can't really bend this way. And then I've reinforced this whole plate to, to basically be on here on both sides. Now, what I, and this thing has a winch and The winch is uh, it's a 4,000 pound winch, but it says 1,100 pounds max on the crane. Now, I've lifted up some pretty heavy logs with this thing, so, and then I welded these, these rings on it to basically be able to, if I need to drag, let's say I need to drag a tree from, you know, 50 feet away. Basically what I do is I, I hook up these two uh, stabilizers and then I can stretch the, the cable out with the grappler and be able to pull those logs in. Now if you didn't put the stabilizers on when the crane was faced this way it would just bend the whole trailer. Because it's a lightweight trailer it, um, you need to use the stabilizers when dragging something or even when you're lifting the logs. So whenever I'm lifting the logs I'll use, I'll use these stabilizers too. But the question I got was, was I happy with this crane? And I can tell you, it's been great. Um, it came with, uh, it came with the, this switch that you mount on here. It also came with a remote control switch. And they both have worked good for the last two years. I think I've, had, I think I've been using it two years. I've used it more this season um, than last season, but so far I, I've brought probably, um, just this season, I brought probably four or five loads of logs down the hill. And today I'm going back up to get another load. Um, the other thing I did was, because if I have the logs on the trailer and I need to disconnect it from the, the tool cap, I put this super handy um, automatic jack on here. And it's also wired into the same control that powers from here. And it, this thing works really well. Matter of fact, I'll plug this in. Oh. So I'm going to hook this up today because I'm going to get back out there. Anyway, the question was about the crane. And like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's, um, the winch has worked great. It has a free spool on it, forward and reverse. It's an 1,100 pound. This thing's rated 1,100 pounds. And it actually... The further out you go, the less the rating. So it has, it has pins in it. So when you're up close, it's 1,100 pounds. And then when you go, um, the further you go out, like you go to number two, it's 550 pounds. Or if you go as far out as I am, it's 220 pounds. So I, I, tend, I tend mostly to load the bigger logs with my excavator, but yeah, the question was about the, the crane, and, and uh, it came with the, the, it didn't come with these D-rings or any of this support, but it did come with the, the, this piece and the plate, and I, I would say it worked really well. So this, this was a really good option for me, and um, yeah, it works really well. Anyway, um, I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna go up on the mountain and get some logs. I'll probably load them with my excavator and then come down and uh, yeah, so I need to bring a couple loads down today. Anyway, I'll show you it in action and uh, 
Yeah, this is about the rug cell, 1100 pound crane. And I think I ordered this on Amazon, I'll have to check that. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go up on the mountain, see if we can't get some logs, and yeah. Weather today is uh, blue skies, a little bit of wind. Um, yeah, nice day. Temperature about probably 70 degrees right now. Okay, so here you can see the articulating wheels in action. Um, yeah, currently I've been pretty happy with how those operate. So there's no leaf springs, no, no shocks or anything. It's just a, a basically a straight axle. Now right here you can see loading it with the excavator is a lot easier than trying to use the crane to load it. So, and actually it's, if I have the excavator down below, I'll, a lot of times I'll unload it with the excavator. But today it's all about the crane, so I'm going to show you the crane in action. Um, right here, I got to come over here and grab another, another couple logs. Basically, up on this hill is it has really nice views, so I'm basically going to try to slowly develop this lot up here and um, clear out a space for a for a house or something up on this hill. Anyway, right here, right here, I'm going to load the rest of these logs. And I don't like to overload it. I mean, I try to maybe put four decent sized logs on the trailer and then, and then go down because it is a lightweight trailer. These are some pretty decent sized logs too. Now I'm pretty far up on the mountain right here. I'm probably, uh, let's see, what, uh, I'm probably at 9,000 feet right here elevation. So right there I got, I don't know, four or five pretty decent sized logs and I'm going to haul those down and demonstrate this crane. Right here you can see I've jacked up the, I've jacked up the log trailer and I'm putting on these, these stabilizers. Now the stabilizers are super important because if I didn't have the, if I didn't have the stabilizers on there, um, like I said, it would twist the whole trailer. So whenever I'm unloading with the crane, I'll put the stabilizers on and I'll turn on the, the tool cat. Now, what I realized pretty quick was these logs, this grappler was too small for these logs. Um, I'm usually, I'm not usually pulling out that size with this grappler. And um, yeah, it, it did lift it up, but it came off and I had to go get my bigger grappler. These grapplers really work well, and actually, normally I'm not. Normally I'm not. Um, right there, you can see it pulled off. So I switched it out for the bigger grappler. Normally I'm. Uh, I actually use this big grappler with my truck winch, and I can just. I can drag a big log out of the forest with my truck. But this does work really well, and you can see right here, the crane is actually lifting this. Big heavy log. I don't know how much this log weighs actually. I'm not sure of that. But it, it does lift it up and basically I remove my sides and then I just lift it up and, and set it off there. It's not as easy as doing it with the excavator, but when you have to when you have to, you know, when your excavator's all the way up on the mountain, you know, you don't it's a lot easier just to do it with the crane and then you don't have to move your excavator all the way down the hill. There you can see, you know, it lifted a pretty big log um, off the trailer. And really I'm only supposed, to, I've got it fully extended right now and, and really technically I'm not supposed to lift um, more than 200 pounds when it's fully extended like that but I'm sure that log weighed more than that. But this is just demonstrating it does work really well. And, you know, it can pull straight onto the trailer also. And yeah, it, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, that's my demonstration of the Rug Cell 1100 crane on a log hauler. And these are actually 
a lot of people use them for truck mounted cranes and different things, but it, it's pretty handy. Um, yeah, I'd have to give it a thumbs up. And anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.